Okay, this video is for Jaylena Crocker uh, from the Crocker Homestead. We, I was watching the live chat, um, I guess, last week, and somehow it, the topic of crocheting came up, and she said, I'd love to learn how to show crochet. Um, so I decided I was going to make a video just for Jaylena, and I've also sent a package. Um, I hope you've received it by now. What you should be receiving is a skein of 100% cotton yarn. It may be a different color than this one. A crochet hook. Your crochet hook will not have this purple thing on it. Um, that's a gripper that I put on mine. Anyway, a crochet hook um, and a darning needle, which probably can't see it very well right here. It's going to be this exact needle. Um, you'll need to find a pair of scissors. I'm pretty sure you probably can do that. Anyway, um, my name is Victoria and my channel, as you probably know, is All My Good Ideas Were Taken. Um, I, I vlog about a lot of things. I'm not a daily vlogger. Shoot, I'm not even a weekly or a monthly vlogger. Uh, I, I post random videos when I have time to make them. Um, anyway, I wanted to help you learn to crochet because I think it's a wonderful thing to know. Um, not only can you make things that are useful and get and wonderful gifts to give, um, but you it's very soothing and relaxing thing. Well, okay, let me let me uh, clarify that. Once you get past the learning of it, then it's relaxing and peaceful and soothing. In the beginning, your hands are going to hurt, your shoulders are going to hurt. It's it's uncomfortable because it's a lot of mo muscle control that you're not used to and sitting in positions for long periods of time that you're not used to, but bear with it. It'll get better and in the end, you'll have this adorable washcloth or a dishcloth, whatever, or even a hot pad. Um, I wouldn't, depending on the use as a hot pad, you may or may not want to use it as a hot pad. They're, I don't know that they'd be thick enough. Usually ones that you're going to use as a hot pad, you use a double strand of yarn, two strands at once, and this is only one strand. But they make excellent dishcloths for washing dishes, wiping down things, and washcloths in the bathroom. Um, the 100% cotton yarn is excellent for that. Acrylic yarn is great too, but if you're making hot pads, do not use acrylic yarn because it's plastic. You know, acrylic is plastic and it will melt. And I've heard of stories where people got burnt because their hot pad melted and burned them. So anyway, let's uh, talk about the pattern for just a minute. Um, at the time I'm making this video, I don't actually have the pattern printed out yet. It's on my phone. Um, it has abbreviations in the instructions. There are abbreviations, but there's a section that tells you what those abbreviations mean. So don't sweat it. And I'm going to go through this every step of the way with you. And you'll see me on camera as best as I'm able to keep in frame. Um, every step of the way from beginning to the finished product. So, I'm trying to think if there's any other tidbits or words of wisdom um, that I should give you. Um, you want to work on, as you're doing this, it's going to be really hard in the beginning with your tension. Your loops are going to be big and loose. Um, try to keep them snug to the, not too snug, but just comfortably snug on the hook and as you put the hook through and pull the loops through, try not to let them get too big and floppy, otherwise it's going to be a hot mess. Um, your yarn tension is controlled. I'm right-handed, so I use the hook in my right hand and I control the yarn in my left hand. Um, you'll work out how to control your yarn. You'll see. Let's just get started. One more little tidbit. This pattern creates ridges in the, I don't know if you can tell, 
but there are ridges each row a regular normal crochet stitch or crochet stitch does not create ridges like that so we're doing a modified cro crochet stitch and at the very end of the video or no you know what at the beginning I'll show you what the difference is um, between them so let, let's just get started Jaylena and anybody else watching the video that may be crocheting along when you get far enough along in the pattern that you feel confident that you don't need to crochet along with me stitch by stitch feel free to skip to the end of the pattern where I show you how to seam the two pieces together and complete the washcloth um, I'll put a note in the description of what the time marker is so that you can know how far to skip ahead there is also a link in the description to the original pattern so anybody else who's following along can find the same pattern and follow along as well. And one more side note, these are my two dogs. Peaches is the white one, Mr. Anderson is the brown brindle white, and I yell at them occasionally and my husband is making gross noises at some point because he's brushing his teeth in the background. We live full time in an RV and as some of you may know it's hard to get away from other noises that people or pets are making such as right now my dog is drinking from the water. So please ignore the noises. Thanks. Let's carry on now. Okay. Now we want to pull out the yarn. Oh and I wanted to say something um, watch through this video the whole way before, or, you know, watch through it and see how you do it. Give it a try, and if you don't feel comfortable doing this without somebody there, you know, to ask questions and to show you hands-on, I live in Waco, or on the south side of Waco from y'all. Um, I would be happy to come down on a Saturday or Sunday, um, because I work during the week. I drive a school bus, and, uh, so I have to be here during the week but anyway I would be happy to come down and spend a day with you and um, give you hands-on instruction um, that would totally be doable so just let me know if you think that's something you'd be interested in doing otherwise I'm just gonna get started right now so pull out some yarn you want a tail about I don't know uh, it needs to be long enough to work with when you're done so I would say go with six or seven inches of tail and then let me do this the other way so your tail is going this way your working yarn is going out across the pinky headed to the skein so you get your tail wrap around your two fingers hold it with your pinky back there all we're doing here is putting a slip knot on the, the hook this is how I do it you can do it anyway um, put your hook between and grab that back yarn and pull it through and just pull everything off and then keep a hold of your tail give it a tug and it tightens it up so um, I control my yarn this I wrap it around my pinky which allows me to let it slide or keep it from sliding so I just go around the pinky once and then it comes up over my index just like that around the pinky up the inside of the fingers and over the index so what we're gonna do here is chain 13 crochets the hook I'm sorry the loop on your hook does not count so we're going to chain one so that's how we chain one grab the yarn and pull it through it helps if I look what I'm doing and not at the screen so there was two grab the yarn pull it through three four five six seven eight and I find that if you just twist some people struggle with how do they turn their hands and all of this business I don't do that I just twist the hook 
I forgot where we were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, let me get my pattern over here where I can see what I'm doing. I like to keep my patterns on my cell phone. I use a program called Evernote. And uh, it's really handy. I'm sending you a printed paper because I don't know how you manage things. Um, but you'll see there are little check boxes beside the row. In Evernote, I just go through and I check off each row when I'm done with it so that if I have to lay my work down and come back to it I know pretty much where I left off um, and that's what I would suggest you do with the paper um, pattern is every time we finish a row I don't know if you can see let me see if I can zoom in every time we finish a row check off the row and when we get down here in this section with row 9 on, we're going to do this whole section again and again and again. So you might want to use a pencil or just make tick marks. I don't know how many times we do it, but a bunch of times. And uh, I just I check off each row, and when I get down to the bottom, and okay, I've got to repeat the section, I just remove my checks and come back. So you can erase your checks or just make new checks. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. Um, at any rate, that's how I manage keeping track on my pattern where I'm at. And some patterns, once I do the repetition a few times, I've got it down and I don't even need to look at where I'm at. Um, so I don't know if you'll get to that point. Maybe not because this is your first project. Anyway, however you want to manage it is up to you. Let me zoom out now, otherwise I'll never keep it in frame. Okay. All right, so let's carry on. We did our chain 13. Now, if you look at the pattern, row 1, it says SC in second CH from hook. So your abbreviations will show you SC means single crochet in second CH or chain from hook. So, remember the one on the hook does not count. So here's the first chain, here's the second chain. And we're just going to take the hook, and you see it's these nice little V's? We're just going to put the hook in the top bar of that V. Just put your hook through, grab the yarn, pull it back through. And if you hold your work with these two fingers, it really helps. Wherever you're, you're actively making a stitch, keep your fingers right there and it really helps to control your work okay so single crochet in the second chain from hook now we're gonna single crochet in the next two chains now pay attention here because it looks like you need to go right here but you don't that's the chain you just used you need to go to the next one so we're gonna do two more There's one single crochet, and then in the next one, and just pull your yarn through, and then yarn over and pull it through again, okay? So we've done a total of three single crochets. Now, on the same row directions, it's going to say chain one, so all you do is just pull another loop through, skip the next chain which is this stitch right here we're gonna skip that one and go in this one oh, I'm looking at the little display trying to make sure it's easy to see so we're gonna put two single crochets in this chain in the same spot so you make one and then right in that same spot you're going to make another one. Now we're going to, and if things get all, see how that got all pulled tight, just give it a tug. It'll reposition the yarn and loosen it up. 
So now we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches or chains. So moving on, remember not this one that's all pulled out, that's the one you just used, the next one right here. So we're going to work in the very first row is always tricksy because the chain is fiddly. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to leave, see you've got two more stitches here, we're going to leave them. We'll come back and get them later. Alright, so we fin we're at the end, we're going to chain one and then turn the whole thing over, just like that. And mark off row one as completed. Now row two. I, for a long time, I would always confuse myself of where my first stitch on the row goes and I would end up with slanted work. So, I'm hopefully going to make this clear. You first stitch when starting a new row is going to be right here. It's right the side, right there. And that's the second stitch right there. I don't know if, I just want to make sure I'm being clear on this because I would always start, I used to always start here and my work would just start slanting and slanting and my nice straight edge was gone. But you want to put your first stitch for the new row right here. Alright, let me get this back where it should be. Alright, so we're going to do one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. Oh, I'm sorry, let me clarify that. In the back loops of the first. Hold on, where am I? I'm at the. Yeah, 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 this is right. Only at seven. I'm sorry, I need to read the pattern. Row two, single crochet in back loop of first seven stitches. Durr. Okay, so what that means is, let's put this up here. If you look at the top of this, focus in camera. Come on, you can do it. Let's. Just gonna focus. Come on, do your thing, stupid machine. That looks okay. Okay, each stitch. Maybe my eyes are out of focus. Let's get the glasses. I'm at that age in life where I need reading glasses. Okay, each stitch is a little V. See that? What we're going to do is we're only going to use the back of the V. So, a normal crochet stitch, this is what I was explaining earlier. Normally, a single crochet goes right through both sides of that V, just like that. But we're not going to do that. This, this is how we're going to make the little ridges. All we're going to do is use the back part. Right there. Every stitch is going to go in the back of the V. No matter which way you're facing this, this way or this way, you're going to go in that back loop. So let's just do it. So we're going to single crochet in the back loops of seven stitches. So go in the back just like that. Grab your yarn, pull it through. Go in the back, grab the yarn, pull it through. And one more. Oh, I'm sorry, we're doing seven. So that was three. four. Let me zoom out some because my camera is not wanting to focus very clearly. Hopefully it's still close enough that you can see 
clearly what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sometimes it can be tricky. But if, if you're having trouble with it, put your grab. Uh, it's kind of hard to see here. Put your hook right up against where it needs to go and just grab it like that. If that helped. I don't know how clear that was to see. Okay, that was seven. Now we're back to the place right here. This is where we skipped over that first stitch. Just crochet straight into that gaping hole. Now we're going to single crochet in the back loops of the remaining three stitches. One, two, and the stitches at the end can sometimes be tricksy, but if you look at it, you see where that V is, right there. Just grab that back loop and yarn through, make your stitch. All right, chain one, turn. So that's the end of row two. So now we're starting row three. We're going to single crochet in the back loops of the first three. So there's one, two, three. I'm going to chain one, skip that stitch, Dub, uh, two single crochets in the next stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches because we're leaving two empty on this row it does if you read ahead you'll know that we're leaving two so however many are left that's how many you crochet four is what's here so one two, three, four. All right, we're leaving those, so chain one and turn. And mark row three complete. This row going back, we're going to, it says single crochet and back loop of first six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then single crochet right in the skip spot, and then single crochet in each stitch after that. So we're just going to single crochet all the way back, putting one in the hole. All right. Should be six. So here's one, two, Oh, shoot, I'm doing it wrong. I was doing a whole crochet stitch. Got to do it in the back loops. All right, one. And did you see that? You make a mistake, it's super easy to rip it out and undo it. So there's one, two, three, four, five and six one in the skip and then the th last three one two and three and it tells you at the end of each row how many stitches you should have worked so we did six plus one is seven plus three is ten. <laughs> I was having a brain fart. Okay, so we did ten stitches. We're on track. Chain one and turn. Mark row four complete. I was looking at the wrong row thinking, oh, we should only have nine. Wrong. All right, now we're going back. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Starting a, we're starting a new row. Oh, I'm so not with it today. So we're going to single crochet in the back loop of the first three. One. Two. Three. Chain one. Skip one. Two single crochets in the back loop of the next one. And we're leaving two on the end, so that just leaves three to single crochet, and that's what the directions say. Three. Leave uh, our crochet three in the back loops. One, two, three. And then chain one and turn. Now we have two, four, six stitches that have been left out hanging. That means we're at the end of the section, just about. All right, so we finished row five. Yeah, yeah, stop telling me to correct things. Row six, we're going to single crochet in the back loop of five stitches. We should have a total of six, six stitches on this row that we do. So f here's one. Two, three, four, five. Five is a little weird. It's a little tight usually. And now we're going to put one stitch in the skip spot. And we're leaving these three hanging out. Chain one and turn. All right, so that's row six completed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crochet one in each back loop for these six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna also pick up these two, these two, and these two for a total of 12. So, back loop, one, two, three, oh my thumb hurts, four, Five. Oh, six. Uh, that one is a little tight, so I'm gonna wiggle it around. Make it easier. Six. And then jump down here to the next row down and pick up number seven and number eight down to the next row for nine. and 10 and when you jump down a row you want to pull your loop down as you go because you're making this into like a wedge here's number 11 and 12 alright chain one and turn that's row 7 complete now we need to crochet back to the top. It's 12 stitches. Oh, in the back loops, I keep wanting to do a regular crochet stitch. In the back loops, one, two, oh, that's not right. Oh, I, that's not right holding it like that. I'm not used to that. Three, four, five, six, 
seven. Last one is 12. We finish the section, chain one and turn. All right, now we're done. Row eight. Who I got to put this down for a few minutes. All right. We were moving on to row nine. And from here on, this section, rows 9 through 16, is where we're going to repeat over and over. All right, so single crochet in the back loops of the first three stitches. There's one. Two. three, chain one, skip one, two single crochets in the back loop of the next stitch. There's one, there's two. Now we're going to single crochet the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, yep, five. One, Two, three, four, and five. Leave the last two, chain one, and turn. Mark off row nine. Row ten, we're going to single crochet all the way back across, putting one in the skip spot. So just in the back loops, it should be a total of 11 stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. The seventh one might be a little hard, but it'll work. Eighth one goes in the skip. And then nine. Ten. Eleven. All right. Oh, I didn't get all of that. Okay. Chain one and turn. Mark off row 10. Okay, now we're going to chain, I mean, uh, single crochet in the back loop of the first three. One, two, three, chain one. Skip one, two single crochets in the loop of that next stitch. And this time we're going to crochet th four, I think it is. One, two, three, yep, four. In the back loops. One, two, three, four chain one and turn. Now you see by leaving the front loop, by only going in the back loops, it leaves the front loop. And that's how you get those cool looking ridges. On a, does it on both sides. Which is pretty cool. Doing it the other way, uh, a normal crochet stitch where you go through both loops, it would just be flat, no ridges. Which is fine if you want to do it that way. Um, I liked this one with the ridges and I thought it was not 
uh, too difficult for a starter project. Um, so, anyway, yeah, that's that's. Moving on to row uh, row, we finished row eleven. We're on to row twelve, and we're gonna single crochet in this whole row. Wait, how many? Ten stitches. So we're gonna go in the back loops of all the stitches and put one in the skip. So here's one. Two, three, four, five. The sixth one is the fiddly one. Let's just grab it, give it a tug, and make it open up. Six. Seven in the skip. And eight is wanting to be difficult. Ah! There's eight. Nine. And ten. Chain one and turn. And we're done with row 12. Moving on to 13. Single crochet in the back loop of the first three stitches. Here's one, two, three, chain one, skip one, two in the next loop, back loop of the next stitch. And this time we are only crocheting three. One, two, three. Leaving those last two, chain one and turn. Thirteen done, row fourteen. Single crochet in the back loop of five stitches. One. Two, three, four, five, and we're going to put one in the skip right here. One, we're going to leave those three, chain one, and turn. All right, now we're going to single crochet all six of these and then pick up these remaining stitches that we left behind before. So, single crochet in each one of these. One, two, three, four, five, and six and then jump down and do seven and eight and then down here for nine and ten And then down to this row for 11, and 12. Chain 1 and turn. Row 16 is just simply one crochet in the back loop of each stitch to the top. Should be 12 stitches. One. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. I'm not sleepy. I'm tired of sitting like this. Because, <laughs> believe it or not, this is not the first time I've made this video. <laughs>
when I first picked out this pattern I thought okay we're gonna make it as simple as possible and we're not gonna do it in the back loops we're just gonna do regular single crochet well I made it all up and it didn't work out so I had to start over but that's okay because I really wanted to do this so I don't mind aches and pains go away alright here we are at the twelfth stitch chain one and turn so that's end the end of this whole section and you can see here was where we did 12 crochets back to the top the last time so this entire section right here all the way over is rows 9 through 12 or 9 through 16 so <clears throat> we have to do this until we have eight points so here's one point this is not a point this is like right here this sec is right here so we have one two points we gotta do six more <laughs> doesn't it make you excited it should crocheting is wonderful it is wonderful although I I think knitting is more wonderful I love to knit and I actually make this same washcloth in a knitted version Let's see if I have one handy right here I thought I had them all right handy I guess not well I don't know that that bugs me but I can't find them. Whatever. Alright, moving on with the next section and row 9 again. So, crochet in the back loop, so the first three. That's one, two, three. Chain one, skip one two in the next always in the back loop now we're going to crochet five. One, two, three, four, five always in the back loop I hope my finger isn't in the way every time I do this I'll bet you my finger my stupid finger is in the way Oh, that one's loose. Got to make that snugger. All right. Four and five. Crochet, chain one, turn. Row nine done. Crochet seven back one two three four five six one in the skip spot and then one in the next three in each of the next three chain one and turn I gotta untangle my yarn all right so now we're ready to do row 10. We're going to single crochet in the back loop of seven, the next seven stitches. Wait, we already did that. Durr. We're on row 11. <laughs> 
Oh, that's what I get for walking away and not marking the row. All right, so single crochet in the first three. Chain one, skip one, two single crochets in the next one. And then we're single crocheting in the next four stitches. And four. Chain one and turn. Row 11 complete. Row 12, we're going to single crochet in six stitches one stitch in the gap and then three stitches to the end for a total of ten so there's two three four five six one in the gap seven Eight. Hold on, seven's loose. All right, so I'm redoing eight, nine, and ten. Chain one and turn. Row twelve complete. Single crochet in the first three back loops. chain one, skip one, two in the back loop of the next one, and now we're going to chain or single crochet in the next three, chain one turn, Row 13 complete. Now we're going to crochet in the back loops of the next five. Then we're and put one in this gap and then turn. So there were two stitches. Three, four, five. one in the gap, chain one, turn. And we're going to crochet these six stitches in the back loops. Three, four, five, Now you're going to pick up these down here, two, six more stitches, two, four, and six, for a total of twelve. So we have six here, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven and twelve. Chain one and turn. That finishes row fifteen. And on row sixteen, we're just going to crochet the twelve all the way back up. One, two. Four, five, six, seven.
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Chain one and turn. So that finishes that section. That's my husband taking out the chihuahuas. One, two, three. Oh, we've got so far to go. I need to take a break. All right, so back at row nine. Crochet three in the back loops. I mean, three back. You know what I mean. One, two, three. Chain one, skip one, two in the back loop of the next one, and then we're going to crochet five. One, two, three, four. Yep, five. One, two, three. Four and five. Chain one and turn. Row ten. Single crochet in the back loops of seven stitches. One, two, three. Sorry if I'm getting out of frame. Four, five. Six. I know, but I don't know where else to put them. Seven. One in the skip spot. And then the next three. One. Two. And three. Chain one and turn. Row two done. Alright, row 11, two, three single crochet in the back loops, three, chain one, skip one, two in the back of the next stitch, And now we're going to crochet to four. One, two, excuse me, three, four, chain one and turn. Row 11 complete. Row 12, single crochet in the back loop of the next six. One, two, three, four, five, come on, come on, come on, six, one in the skip space, and one in the back of each of the next three. Two, three, chain one turn, row 12 complete. 13, we're gonna single crochet in the back of the next three. One, two, three, chain one, skip one, two in the next one. And now single crochet the next three 
in the back loops. One, two, three. Chain one and turn. <coughs> Thirteen complete. Row fourteen, single crochet in the next five. Four, five, one in the skip, and then right here we're going to chain one and turn, leaving those last three. Row 14 complete. 15, we're going to single crochet each one of these six stitches. There's one. Uh, two, three, four, five, and dun, 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 six. Now we're going to jump down and get these leftover stitches. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve. Oh, come on, twelve. Oi. Alright, chain one and turn. Fifteen completed. And now crochet back twelve stitches in the back loops. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sorry, getting out of frame there, twelve, chain one and turn, back to row nine. We're halfway. One, two, three, four. Oi! We're just going to do four more sections. 